Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Draw the United Preseason Weekly. This week I'm delighted to be joined alongside by Draw the United fullback James Brown. Jimmy, how are you? Not too bad, yourself Luke? Yeah, all good mate, all good. First of all, I want to start it off. Uh, you're a personal trainer, so this has a massive effect on yourself over the last sort of few, or over the last year with the lockdowns and COVID and that. Just want to, so, and a lot of the other lads as well are personal trainers in the squad, so um, how have you found being a personal trainer during these difficult times? Because obviously there's a lot of uh, different protocols that you have to follow. Yeah, it's, it's been challenging. Like, you know, um, it's been totally different to what I normally do with a lot of online stuff, you know. Um, I'd be mainly in the gym. I know a lot of lads have been in the gym doing fitness instruction. Roy kind of do one-to-one PT and stuff like that. But uh, it's different. Like, you know, it's it, a lot of it is just programming and keeping in touch with people and, you know, Zoom classes and stuff like that. Um, but I've... I've got a bit of equipment at home, like, you know, the sort of way I could bring a bit back from the gym, so I've had that kind of side of it, but, uh, yeah, it's been challenging, like, you know. Yeah, you're well into your, your third pre-season now with the club, uh, and your first in the Premier Division. Uh, how have you found the preparations uh, this year? It's obviously might be different to any previous year. Yeah, it's been a lot harder than the last year or two. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, it's good. You know, we're, um, we're looking strong. Um, it's a fit group this year, like, you know, like the last probably year or two there's been bits of a gap like you know probably a fifth few and then not an unfit few and then kind of in the middle like you know the sort of way but it's been it's been a really fit group this year everyone's kind of up to scratch so uh it's been harder but that's what you expect really now there's more games in the premier and stuff like that so you need it as well like you know yeah you've obviously you know you mentioned there it's it's, it's obviously difficult but like going in like you know sort of what to expect uh, going in now and your, your third pre-season with the club like you know what you're expecting and you know what, what you're asked of yeah that's it well um, you know me and a few lads have been there a good while now and, and the new lads coming in have you know kind of adapted quickly enough uh, whether it's formations or the way we kind of play and stuff like that and um, everyone's kind of bouncing off each other well so it seems to be going all well like you know the lads that have came in have, have been around the block like you know it's not like they're, they're new to it's their first season yeah. and stuff like that I'd say they've been playing similar football at, at clubs before, but uh, yeah, we're all gelling well, so it looks good. Yeah, and a few pre-season games under your belt as well. Um, and it also looks like, as you mentioned there, the new lads have settled in well. How have you? How do you think the, the new lads are sort of uh, adapting to, to the squad and also what sort of qualities do you think they'll bring? Yeah, well, if, a lot of them haven't played yet, you know, you know, in a sort of way, but they've yeah. been playing and you can see that they've, they have ability, like you know. Um, I know Darren and Dan have they've been playing really well all preseason and in the games. Bells of that really showed their qualities that the Premier League footballers, like you know. Um, so they've been flying, but the other lads they, they were flying at the start, and you could see that what they're about in training. And then obviously they picked up a knock or two, but uh, just to have them around, really their presence, like Dinny and, and Dane and stuff like that, being around the, the league years, and Dane's probably done it all, like you know, the sort of way. So to have someone like that in your dressing room is a big, big plus. But uh, it's good additions, like, you know, all the lads have been good additions. So even though they haven't played a game yet, around the dressing room and training standards have been high, like, you know, so it's good. It's good to have how impor- Like, how important do you think having that standard and having that sort of experience in dressing rooms where uh, games that you need players to stand up and who have who've done it before? Like, you mentioned there, Dane, has, he's won everything with Dundalk and uh, Deegs as well. He's been over in, in Scotland, England, I've mentioned him an awful lot uh, on the show recently. Uh, Dinny as well is a real experience around the League of Ireland. How, how of a, much of a benefit do you think they can have um, to you and the rest of the lads in the group? Massive, massive benefit. Like, you know, it's, um, like a lot of the lads haven't really played Premier Football. That, that's been in the team. We've been in and around, you know, like playoffs and stuff like that. And we played the odd FAI Cup game and pre-season games, but it's totally different when you're playing 36 odd games in, in the Premier, you know, Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. So, you know, when we feel the heat, that's when they'll probably come in and, and use their experience, you know, that sort of way, because um, they've been there and done it. But uh, I think time will tell, like, you know, I think they, they'll be huge for us this year, whether if they're playing or they're not, just in the dressing room is massive for us, like, because we, we were a young team, like, um, yeah. but the last the last while, like, we've kind of needed a bit of, a, bit of experience, you know, and we're not lucky to get up last year, but we, we deserve to go up, but yeah. to, to get the additions that we did this year, we're, we're looking well, so. Looking forward to it now. You've opened your goal account for the 2021 season uh, earlier than last season, anyways. Yeah. Um, is that something that you, you've been thinking about adding to your game? Um, I know last season, like we could all we could talk about your goal for for ages, you know. But 
you opened it in some fashion as well against Shells with off the left foot. That's two goals now off the left foot. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, just, I don't know. I, was, I think I have a bit of confidence now after last year, you know, that sort of way. And yeah. I have to get one in against Shells, but I can't be getting carried away with myself. I still have the lads giving me sticks, so uh, they're going to keep me level-headed more than that, and, you know. I'd say you were getting some stick in the dressing room the other night anyways. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good, good bit of laugh. <laughs> can't get carried away. It's only pre-season as well, you know, but... Uh, Hopefully I can add a bit, few more goals to my game this year, you know, that sort of way. But um, it's good that, you know, to get into them positions as well, and you have lads that slip you in this year, like Dara and stuff yeah. like that, um, Dinny around the box, and, you know, we, we create chances. So I'd love to add a few more goals to my game, yeah. Yeah, pre-season results, obviously, they don't matter. Um, it's all about gaining fitness and getting minutes under your belt there, as you mentioned. But what's it been like being back out on that pitch and, and getting minutes under the belt? Yeah, it's, it's been massive. Like, um, it's a long, long, long off season. Like, I know mm. the season late last year, but it's still a massive off season. Like, I think you know it's nearly four months that you, you, yeah. you the game. Um, the first, I think we all kind of got forty five against Wexford, but even that, you're feeling the heavy in the legs. And um, I think Tim's managing it well, and Kev with minutes and stuff like that. Like, you know, I've played forty five and then sixteen. Some lads have played ninety, so it's it's gradually building up, but it's it's. So important we get in game time under your belt, like you know, especially for the season that we're going into now with, with like the amount of games we've played, let alone cup games and stuff like that as well, you know. Yeah, you mentioned there a few minutes ago about young and experienced players uh, in the squad and how how important it is going into the Premier Premier Division football. It's like thirty six games in a season, it's it's gonna be more than than we've had probably in a, in a long time, you know. Uh, obviously last year it was it was eighteen games and it was cut short due to COVID. Um, do you think that's going to be difficult or having that big squad will, will be a big benefit? Yeah, well, we've a big squad this year, so that will be hugely beneficial. Like, it's been beneficial as it is now with the, yeah. the amount of that we have. But as I said, like, it's it's a really fit group this year. So, um, you know, I think if we shouldn't, you now I'm saying that now there's a lot of injuries, but we shouldn't be too bad with, with the midweek games and stuff because lads are fit. So, and, you know, it is a young enough team. I know we have experienced lads in there, but we've a lot of legs. So, uh if lads look after themselves outside of football, which most of them do anyways, um, you know, it shouldn't be a problem to us. But uh hopefully hopefully, you know, we can just we can just grind them out really. There's I think there's a few there's fixtures we had look uh during the season and we have Bowles, Dundalk, Sligo and, and probably Rovers, I think, all in, in the space yeah. of like days. So yeah. uh, that'll be yeah. heavy uh, chasing yeah, definitely. Uh, but no, I, I think we should be okay, like, you know. Yeah, definitely. Two weeks out until we, we kick it off. We kick it all off. Uh, our Premier Division season begins against Waterford at home in United Park. How are you feeling ahead of your first uh, first game in the Premier Division with the drugs? Um, confident enough. Like, you know, we're, we're flying pre-season. So, to be yeah. honest, we're to it. Like, it's, it's been too long. I know for pre-season, it's great playing games stuff like that. But nothing beats a competitive game, you know, and there's points yeah. at on the line and stuff like that. But... Be nothing better to get off to a good start, and especially the fact that it's home. I know there's no fans or anything like that, but I think being at home makes a massive difference. You know, and it'd be great to get off for like three points. You know. Yeah, let's sort of rewind and now a bit about last season. A fantastic season for the club uh, and yourself winning the league. Uh, you also scored your first goal for the club, and um, as we were talking about earlier on, but uh, the best way to do it that night down at Cabin Daly. Yeah, I know, it's, it was madness. The thing is, every, like, you know, everyone goes on about the goal. It, it happened so quickly and the celebrations happened so quickly. And then before I knew, we were back. And then back, yeah. I know they were down to 10 men, but it was backs against the wall. So I can mainly just remember defending and stuff like that. But I kind of enjoyed that part more than that. And, um, you know, we, we grinded out the result in the end, even though they had 10 men. But it was a nervy last 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, it was, I was, it, was, it was mad, like, you know, unexpected. There's one thing I. Yeah, there's definitely one thing I found mad about that last sort of 10 minutes against Cabin Teeley is we're tuning up and you're still running up and down the wing as if as if it's you're only on the pitch. Like, that obviously, you know what I mean? That's that's part of your game and that's a part of a lot of players' game because like, cause you have such a, a thick group in there. How, how important do you think that will be now in the Premier Division and, and running at, and keep running, you know what I mean, during tough games where you, you might have to defend for, like, you know, half of a game and then you have to counter attack and hope that you can get a goal how, how important do you think your fullback runs and, and uh, your runs alongside by Conor Kane who is quite similar in that sort of aspect of your game yeah well going 
Going back to the Cavan Peely game, I think that was just adrenaline really more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only have a league medal there, but no, this year it's massive, like, you know, but I think all the lads have, have kind of knuckled down. Um, I think the lockdown might have helped the fact that everyone's closed, but everyone's working on their fitness and, uh, you know, they're looking strong and think they know that they need to be that bit fitter. I know, like, last year we did look fit and strong, but at the end of the day, it was only 18 games, so... For myself, like I've, I've worked hard on my diet now since January. I've lost nearly half a stone, and um, so I'm I'm trying to, you know, get lighter for the season because I know there's a lot more games to, to come, you know. Um, but it just shows that you, you came back and had a few runs, and you see lads flying ahead, and you're saying, Jesus, so they must have been doing a bit at home as well. So yeah, putting it on the same note, like you know, and it's good to see as well. We we definitely need legs like this year, definitely 100. percent Yeah, it's a question I've sort of asked most of the players I've had on so far. How did you find last season playing without the fans? Some players react to it better than others, really. Um, personally, yourself, how did you find it? Yeah, it was it was strange at the start. It was difficult, like, you know, and then towards the end, you were kind of getting used to it. But uh, I think what kept us going was the fact that we were in a title race. Like, I couldn't yeah. think more of playing, like, every Friday for nothing to play for, you know, that sort of way. Yeah. There was a bit of a buzz around the place anyways with, with at the staff and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But it is, it's it's horrible. And you know, like the games that like we played against Shells last year, the sellout and stuff like that, you know, towards the end, you would have got sellout and you know, you park and open cab and yeah. stuff like that. But uh, hopefully, you can back in this year, like I don't think, I don't know what way it's going to pan out, but towards the end of the season, if we get some sort of crowd in, it'd be great, like another sort of way. But um, yeah, because I think the same yeah, way. Yeah, we had a few. Uh, yeah, go on, no, sorry, 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 go on. No, you're all right, go on. I was just saying, I think the the start of this season might get us, we might get through just with the you know the whole fucking the, sorry the whole Premier League um like thing like you know the sort of way that adrenaline getting us through and stuff. I think that you know that will kind of get us through the first ten years quarter, all right, and then we'll probably need a few fans halfway through the season if we're struggling. Yeah, towards like that you mentioned about the run in there, and um, we obviously had only like I think it was only a very small limited crowd for I think there might have been two or three games. And then it was cut short again, you know what I mean? We, how, I think it was the Shamrock Rovers B game, I might be right in saying, we were, we went to, we, I think we went, went to goal down uh, twice in that game. So we were, yeah, yeah. And then um, we sort of brought it back then. How, that, I think the fans, even though there was only a small amount there, I think they might have been a big benefit that night and push you over the line. Like, obviously, hopefully we can have something like that um, in the Premier Division, if, even if it's limited. Yeah, do you know what? I think there was like a hundred people at that game. I think that's what it was, and it honestly felt like two thousand. Like the fact yeah. that there's no noise in the ground one, one day, and then the next is. But that was, I think, a last minute thing. Three two, Doyle with Penno, but it felt like it, it was packed, and there's only a hundred people oh, there. Stop. I can only imagine when when Satan said for that again, what it'll feel like. Yeah, because it'll be so different. Like you'll have went even a year and a half, maybe even most of, most of them this year without without any fans and then la- uh, uh, most of last year without any fans so it might be difficult to get back used to that having a, fo- a like a, a sold out crowd you know what I mean yeah I know that's it exactly um, and especially with like the, the crowds that the Premier League gets like you know like mm. I know we play cup games and important games to be selling out but most of our games there does be a good crowd there but I know the likes when you go to talent and, and balls and stuff like that like there's a lot lot more like you know three or four thousand a game and stuff so uh you know, it, lads will have to handle it. Like, you know, it's, it's nearly a year since we haven't haven't had fans. But now that will be a bonus. Like, home or away, you know, sort of way. It's brilliant playing from the fans. Like. Yeah. Before I let you go, our first four games have... They're difficult games. Obviously, every game is going to be difficult. And, and we know that. But how important do you think it is to, to start well and, and, and lay a marker in the Premier Division? Massive. You know, it, like, we couldn't have asked, not saying no disrespect to Waterford, but we couldn't have asked for a better fixture at home. You know, to start away, Waterford probably mm-hmm. mid-table last year. The last thing you want is, is Rovers away or, you know, to yeah. the first game of the season. So it's massively important. If we can get points in our belt there, and then um, I think Pats are playing Rovers the first game as well. So yeah, yeah. If they if they happen to slip up as well, we've a good chance going to the second game if we do well. But there's no point in looking too far ahead. No. In the first four games, just... Folks in the first game, and if we can get the win there, where we've you know that's a good start, or even a draw, you know, sort of way once we once we don't lose, it's a good start, you know. Yeah, well, we appreciate your time uh, for coming on the show. We know it's uh, they're obviously very busy with uh, pre season and all that, so uh, we wish you the best for the new season, Jimmy, and uh, we'll chat to you soon. Thanks very much. No worries, cheers for having me, Luke. Thanks, thank you very much, Jimmy, for your time. We hope you enjoyed episode eight of Draw the United Pre Season Weekly. 
Check the links in our description to see all of our various social media platforms. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of our next video. Thank you very much and we will see you next week.